Hey guys, it's Navelle Jaylee, and for everything that is buzzworthy, here's what's been happening in the world of soaps this past week. Now, the internet has been a buzz about Susan Lucci going in on Brian Franz in her new epilogue in her All My Life Tell All book. Uh, the actress is re-releasing it paperback with this epilogue about All My Children's cancellation. Uh, the daytime diva has been playing the role of Erica Kane since the show inception in 1970. Now, she definitely... Um, was the first, from what we have heard, to know that the show was being canceled before the rest of the cast just minutes later after it was told unto her. Uh, the actress went ahead and explained that Brian Franz seemed self-congratulatory, no shock there, um, about the show that was going to replace All My Children come September 26th. She then goes on and says that he has the fatal combination of ignorance and arrogance. Color me surprised when I heard those words come out of her mouth because I never would have expected Susan Lucci to be saying anything on the negative side when it came to ABC Daytime, but she did, and we could not be happier. Now, she was not the only one that also went in on Brian Franz, as well as Anne Sweeney. Erica Slezak also shared in that joy when she decided to go ahead and say that Brian Franz doesn't care about the genre, which is true. She goes ahead and says that it seems to her that ABC Daytime thinks that everybody only cares about information. Nobody cares about entertainment. Unfortunately, that isn't true. We prefer our scripted entertainment, and ABC Daytime, shame on you for not promoting your shows the way it need to be promoted. Jory Peterson, I'm talking to you. If you did, we probably wouldn't be in this predicament as we are now, but you know what, I can't even say any more than that. So, there it is, and there it lies. If you want to make sure you get that paperback edition where the new epilogue is featured, go ahead and go to Amazon.com and get your edition of All My Life. You can also check out the New York Post to see some of the postings in regards to the Brian Franz statements from La Lucci herself. Now, YNR, um, it's a shame to say that they hit an all-time low in ratings. They are at a 3.2 the week of August 22nd. That's awful. That should tell the higher brass at CBS and Sony they need to do an overhaul. You need to take lessons from Days of Our Lives, folks. You need to reboot your show. You need to give the fans what they want. Character-driven material with their favorite characters. Bring back Melody Thomas Scott. You can't basically have Genoa City without Nikki Reed Newman. Come on now. You know better than that. You can't have a soap without romance. You need romance, too. And I know I am not a Lane fan, but you gotta give credit to where credit is due. You've got to show your popular fan bases, otherwise the fans are gonna start tuning out. Lane is one of them. That's your bread and butter. You need to work that angle as well. You've got to start listening to the fans, otherwise you also will be on that chopping block as well. One Life to Live also saw The Tale of Two Todds turn into a murder mystery where Trevor St. John's character of Todd 2.0 slash Victor Lord, um, basically meeting his demise, or so we think. Seems that the actor is finally done on, hit on this stint on the television version of One Life to Live as Todd slash Victor. Um, you know, we've been hearing rumors that he could possibly go back if Prospect Park makes him a deal because he said he would from um, what I am hearing, but we'll see what happens. I personally would love to see him back. Um, you know, I, I am a fan of Roger Howard, but I know there are a lot of fans, myself included, that love Trevor St. John's performance as um, Todd Manning as well as Victor Lord. And they could definitely use a plot angle to where two twin brothers fighting for what is theirs. They didn't really have to kill them all. They really didn't have to get rid of them early. They could have definitely used that storyline, but unfortunately that is not the way that they perceived it. So we wish him all the best. Hopefully he does come back. But that's a little bit of a taste of what has been happening this week on your favorite soaps. Now, if you want to check out some of our podcasts, especially this week, we had Matthew Asher and Casey Diedrich on our show this past Friday. You can always go to blogtalkradio.com slash buzzworthyradio as well as www.buzzworthyradio.com. Net. You can check out that show. You can check out our past shows, um, those that include Jerry Fedor and Kim Zimmer, um, what have you, Lauren Coslo, Drake and Deidre, they were on the show. You can check out all those shows out. Go to www.buzzworthyradio.net, and we're on iTunes as well, so make sure you guys check that out as well. But 
that's it for now. And if you like these week in review videos, please let me know. I'll promise if you like them, I will do more. But that's it for now. I'm going to take my sweaty self back to my Twitter computer. You can follow me on Twitter at Buzzworthy Radio. That's my Twitter handle. And have some fun with me talking about your favorite soaps and anything else on the Belgian League. Get the latest buzz with Buzzworthy. See you guys next time.